This update brings some smoothing enhancements to the predicted object component, specifically if you are using a rigid body. You'll notice that all of the spectator uh, smoothing settings such as interpolation, overflow multiplier, etc. are gone and they're all replaced with the smoothing type and you have accuracy, mixed, and smoothness. In short, accuracy is something you'll pick if you have a game with a lot of uh, fast moving objects and you expect a lot of collisions or you want collisions to rather be uh, as close to real time as possible. The downside to accuracy is that Fishnet will predict um, in real time as possible. So if there is something that doesn't line up, you could potentially be looking at a small desync adjustment. And that will of course increase um, the likeliness with ping. So for example, uh, accuracy tends to work really well for sub 100 millisecond ping, kind of starts to fall apart around 150 plus. So let me just go ahead and show you that. All right, so I have about 120 ping right now and I'm moving around this object on the client host and as you can see it's actually really smooth and that's going to be true because like I said it's more likely to happen uh, or you're going to see the, the potential jitter whenever there is actually a desync. So one thing I want you to notice is if you look up here in the top right you're going to see the fishnet emblem and that's where the actual value is being predicted and then you have the graphics falling behind it. So let me show you what it looks like whenever you are to collide with a player object. All right, so that was uh, about a 100 millisecond ping and that actually looked really good. That looked pretty much perfect. Even though you saw that the fish emblem was ahead, the graphics still interpolated to it really well. Now let's go ahead and take a look whenever you are up against something and then you jump up. You might notice that it looks a tiny bit snappy at times. Now this is what it looks like when you're not touching something and you jump up. You see how it's a little more uh, kind of little, little less jumpy, uh, doesn't go up as quickly. That's because whenever you are colliding with uh, player objects or your own objects, or rather when something else is colliding with them that's predicted, the interpolation on that object is uh, reduced basically to help give you that more real time feel and that's the point of that. However, you can see that whenever objects are pushed around, everything is completely like uh, normal. Everything has full contact. And you will see a little bit of jitter there sometimes when I change direction. That's what I mean when I say that uh, above, you know, 100 ping, especially around like 150 or so, you're going to get that. But sub 100, it looks really good. And I would expect if you have fast moving objects, you're probably it's probably going to be like a competitive game of sorts and you're going to expect people to have a ping around 70 or so and even if they do have a ping around 150 it doesn't mean they're going to have jitter it just means that the possibility is that there might occasionally be jitter during a desync next i'm going to go ahead and bump this to smoothness uh, from accuracy to smoothness and start it on up and you're going to notice perhaps that uh the the actual object versus the graphical representation up top, there's going to be a bit more of a gap. You can see that the actual object is much further from the graphics. Basically, when you set it to smoothness, there's much more interpolation added to the graphics, and that's why you're seeing that. There is a downside to this, however. You'll notice that when I hit the object below, it seemed that the object started moving from the collision well before it hit the object, and that's true actually that's exactly what happened so let me just do it again there you go now one thing you will also notice is that whenever you go about pushing objects like this uh, let me just switch this over to the other side trying to get it back into view all right whenever you do push objects like this you're going to see that it will, the pushing will actually be a lot more smooth even at higher pings and the likeliness of these things is still there, of course, is just by setting it to smoothness, it's going to focus on alleviating uh, potential jitter by smoothing the graphics over a longer time as opposed to catching them up quickly. The downside to this is, as you witnessed, is that the graphics are a little bit more behind. Then you're, you're probably going to see the graphics take a moment to catch up and that might not be ideal for fast-paced competitive games. However, for slower games where you're pushing things around, 
uh, be it like boats or games like Fall Guys, where I think you can push people around or maybe like grapple them here and there, that's probably completely okay. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Mixed. Mixed is of course a uh, basically, you know, kind of middle grounds between the two. It's a little bit of accuracy and it's a little bit of smoothness. So let me go ahead and show you what Mixed looks like. Again, you're going to see perfect smoothness whenever you're not colliding with anything because there's no chance of a desync. But let me go ahead and move this forward. Again, you can see that the actual fishnet icon there up in the top is less ahead than it was before. So the graphics are actually closer to the actual position as you saw with accuracy. It's, it is again in between accuracy and smoothness. And then when you collide, you probably noticed that as well, the collision gap wasn't as far. It was much more reasonable. So let me just go ahead and show you that again one more time. As you can see, it was quite a bit better. And uh, this is the default setting. And this is probably what most people will uh, be using because it simply is, you know, the middle grounds between the two. But it all depends on your game type. You know, if you want to go high speed games like Rocket League or whatever it might be, you probably want accuracy. Or if you kind of have like a middle in between, you're going to want mixed. Or if super casual and you really, really, really want to focus on smoothness, you'll use smoothness.